Hey guys, welcome back to Stacey Goes Outside. Morning. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do Good fishing morning. videos and I try to post content at least once on a week. So if fishing is your jam, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So it's Sunday morning and I'm out here on the Delta. We launched from Pittsburgh Marina and I'm out here with Alex and Richie of Delta Fishing Charters. Yep. We're doing a combo striper sturgeon trip and I'm with my new fishing buddies, Jason and Rollin out here. Jason's He's got one <laughs> on right now, so it's a little bit chaotic, but we're going to see if we can land a sturgeon. We're going to find out all about how to do this on the Delta, so let's go fishing. We might just get something like this right here, especially on a loose line. You know, as we get some current, it'll be a lot tighter, you know. It, as you're getting your bite, as the fish pulls it down about the third or fourth fifth time, down, down. On it, right? the rod holder. What's going to happen if you hook the fish is as you're cranking the handle of the reel, the handle will continue to turn, but no line will be coming on the reel. Okay. So once you make your decision to start reeling, look straight at the reel. That's okay. that's going to tell you you got the fish on. So you're cranking, line stops, get it out of the rod holder, kind of all one shot, and set the hook. It's going to be okay. buried all the way through the mouth. You're going to have them. Real important, we have to use a single barbless hook. So real important that we keep the rod bent. You know, be it pull side to side, pull up. Uh, you know, the hook is barbless, so it could fall out. You know, he's got a mouth on the bottom of his face. He goes swinging around, you come loose, this weight's gonna fall through the water column that might just pull the hook right out. You know, so real imperative. You're not just gonna be able to reel him in with the reel like a winch. You're gonna have to pull, you pull with the rod, reel down the line that you gathered with the reel. But it's all about the timing. When this fish starts getting it, you want to make sure you start your reel as the rod's pulling down, not as it pops back up. It's not in his mouth. You know, when he's pulling on it, he doesn't have any hands. When that rod's pulling down, that's when it's in his mouth. You know, a lot of people we see, they'll give it, they'll, you know, they'll get their bite and give it a half crank and then pull the rod out of the rod holder. It doesn't work like that. You want to give it six, eight nice cranks as fast as you can right in the rod holder. You know, so he's biting. Get over the top of the rod, get over the top of the rod. Here he goes as he draws it down. Get as fast as you can, six, eight times. You know. So how are we setting up these rods with the sturgeon? So we got a sliding sliding sinker okay. to a bead to protect our knots, to just a, a, a nice big duo lock, down to 100 pound uh, 100 pound leader line, seven knot K hook, owner owner K hook, barbless. All right, who's got which rod? Who's yeah. calling their rod? Yep. Oh. Yeah. So we'll put uh, Stacy. We'll give you those two on the left there, and these these three will be your guys. Once okay. we get all of them out there, we'll give you three rods and you guys three rods. And we usually reel up and change the bait about every half hour. You know, we'll reel them up one by one, change the bait out so we're fishing all nice and fresh the entire time. Are you guys catch and release only with sturgeon, or oh. do people? Oh, uh, yep, completely up to you guys. We always ask, we always ask our customers, you know, if they want to keep it, we keep it. If they want to let it go, we let them go. We don't force anybody to keep one. We like letting them go so we can catch them tomorrow. Yeah. Or eat them too. They're really good to eat. We got them. There you go, Stacy. Oh, yeah. Atta boy, bud. Get off, start reeling. Get them tight. Going right to the point. The owner, start cranking. Oh, no way. Oh, he fell off. Son of a gun. Okay. Yeah, he was. He turned out. Okay. I'm gonna have that. That happened. Oh, that's Nothing you could have done. No. They, you were cranking on they it. They win every once in a while. Yeah, they do. So Richie well, or it. Alex, can you remind us what is the slot size, the legal keeper size, and what's the limit per person per day or year or whatever? Okay. Slot size for the white shirt, it's between 40 and 60 inches. Okay. From the fork of the tail to the nose. That's how they measure them. And uh, you keep one a day per person within the slot and three per year. Three per year. So you have okay. to tag them. There's little tags that you, that you buy from the fishing game, and you only get three tags a year. Okay. All right, you got it, you got it. Nice. <laughs> all right, yeah. Good job. This thing's running us around the boat. We had to get all these rods out of the way. 
Yeah, we, we like trying to leave them in, guys, uh, as many as possible. Yeah. Uh, that's the only way you get multiple fish on at a time. Yep. We haven't even been out here half an hour, right? Yeah, no, right. <laughs> Not bad. Good job. Lift up like right there as high as you go, and then roll all the way down the water. Okay. Just just so if you're way up here like this, and something happens, you can't go any higher. You know, like two feet got real down right there. Right, go. Woo! It's gonna be a good one, guys. He's doing a great job. This is their first time sturgeon fishing, so I think I might be as or more excited as they are. <laughs> you know, when I tell you, you're just going to lift, lift straight up to the sky. When I tell you, okay? Oh, you. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, that, that one. <laughs> that is super cool, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Great yeah. job. <laughs> My gosh, don't lose him. <laughs> You're doing great. This is awesome. Alright, hang on to Try to keep them in the water whenever you guys are done here. Let's see if we can get a full length shot of them. Wow. Good job, man. That's you amazing. Get here, buddy. Yep. So we'll uh when you're ready to let him go, just pick up on this black part, okay? And, and that that'll let fish go it. Whenever you turn him upside down, he's gonna be ready to go. He's gonna splash you. There you go, buddy. Just don't let go that way. Yeah, they don't pay much. It's awesome, right there. There you go. Come on. Nice. Did they just act like yet? a little guy? Uh, uh, no, he's not. Tight, real tight. Yeah, he's a tight. Oh, he's in there. There, there you go, go, there you go. There you go. Yeah, so nice, so nice, nice and smooth. <laughs> Trying to hold him tight. There you go. Out here on the rail, oh, what rail? What rail? Might be a little small. Oh, a little deeper there. Get out of here, up in here. You gotta hold them down the water for a second. He is. We don't have to keep him if he's too small. Oh no, he's gonna be a keeper. Pull it left up towards the guy. Okay. Nice one. Yeah, good job, buddy. Good job. Get our hands off. Good job. Yeah, good job. Thank you. That was a little erratic. That was. Good job, guys. That was an amazing fight. Yeah, that is something else. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that's a good one to eat right there. Those ones about that size got nice white meat to them there. Look at this. Just out. No, we got to put a big one in there and stretch it out a little bit. Okay, we'll see what we got here, guys. Good teamwork, guys. Yeah, thanks, you guys. So, uh, what's the what's the so he's got to be eagle? he's got to be at least 40 inches long looks like he's going to be about 40 one so should we put him back or should we keep him? it's up to you if you want to eat one brother one, one, one in the hands better than two in the bush uh, but if you want to let it go and try for a bigger one you can do that too 42 inch or it's a keeper so it's legal yep. okay let's go ahead yep. and keep that up. get him all the way through his gills there and as you can see he's Hey guys, we're gonna go through the tagging process. We're gonna keep a fish, so I'll yeah. show you what you got to do in the state of California. Yep. Sturgeon report card, so it's separate from your annual fishing license because California is trying to take as much money from you as possible. So yeah. it's about 10 bucks. What Your do we need to do? So Sacramento River. Okay. So we're in the Sacramento River, and yep, then zero four is our number for okay. where we're fishing today. And then what do we need to fill out? There's that. We have got all this stuff. Okay. So you're gonna put so the if number. You keep one. Okay. You go right here to the top. Write it in today's date, location, the length. You really, some you got this section for release fish, and then your tags are down here. Gotcha. You want to always make sure you fill out the last tag first. So you bottom can cut it off. Part. Yep. Okay. You cut off the bottom one. Perfect. It looks so good. Right there, right there. Come on. Get that one. Get it there. Get it there. Oh. Oh. There we go. There we go. Let's take a line.
Hold no, I'm just. Hold uh, on it. Uh, we can loosen the drag off for you. Keep the rod to the left. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, it's a little one. Yep. It's all right. I know. <laughs> yep. Yep, let me get a quick. So this is a little bit undersized, guys. We try. But they're biting all of a sudden, so that's good. <laughs> Where he messes all me right. up. Well, that was fun. Come on. Come on. It's all you. Good job, Raleigh. There you go, bud. That's gonna be a good video for him to watch on YouTube. Heck well, yeah. It's, it's gonna be the rolling highlight reel. Well, you try not to go too high. Go about, go about to, you know, right there and then reel all the way down. That's where all your pressure is. Wow, nice fish. Wow. Bust out a little bit of line, bud. Ready out. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> It's driver time guys, it looks like these have been used. Two toys. So which way are we heading now? We're heading Antioch Bridge. We're gonna run up San Joaquin River. Hot. Hot. Oh. The fun part is trying not to get hooked. Does it feel like a keeper? Well, I don't know. Is that a keeper? We just barely made it. Yeah, he was barely on that. Is there a keeper or no? Oh, yeah. You gotta make sure. I don't know. Oh, it is. 20 inches, yeah. They didn't even take a clicker, this guy. I thought I was just driving the clutch. That's what it looked like, too, but it was. Yeah. Then it was shaking. Venture? Uh, we're a fish. You want one? Wow. Yeah, yeah, you do. A peeper. Trying to, trying to wonder why in the heck this thing ain't wiggling no more. <laughs> we're all here. Well, look, one there. There he is, fish on. Oh, yay! I think smoked it. Man, yeah. That's not a keeper, is it? You can tighten the drag just a little bit, Stacy. Uh, don't want it too tight just in case he goes running. Is he running on you? Good deal. Man. Good job. Just let me know what I need to do, guys. Oh, you're doing oh, well. He's going to get it off. Taking it dead? Yep. <sighs> Stay in there. You got him. You're, you're, you're a minute at fighting him so far. Right at a minute. All right, go to the other side. Yeah, of the go to the other side. Stacy, come, come back to this side over here. Make sure Man, this is awesome. Oh, no, go back to the other side. Oh, oh no, it's around the motor. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Is that Wyatt? There 
Pissed. Man, yeah, that's a good fighter. Man, oh man. Sam? You're at two minutes now. Oh, that's see what's going on. He took the side of his head. It's a nice one, though. Oh, oh he ain't ready. Oh, nice. Oh, nice one. Yeah, there you go. Good nice. one. Pretty fish. Five and change? Oh, yep, five and change. This heart's right back in here. Yeah. So the knife goes just pretty much separating the gills from the heart. You see where it's at in there? Yeah. And then, yeah, wow. he, he bleeds out real nice. Striper gills are kind of tough, so instead of cutting all through them, yeah. like I do did with the sturgeon, a little easier just to get in there in a the soft spot and they, uh, they, bleed, right they bleed out real nice, yeah. Some of the rods, so they, uh, there you oh. go. There you go, Stacy. Good job. Feed something. Sometimes they start right at you if you don't hold the gut so it goes tight and the back of the boat. Kind of acting like this one. All of a sudden you're going to have 50 line out and you're going to come tight. That's a nice fish. Looks Ooh. like it. See? Looks a little bit bigger that first shine we've seen down there. Stacy got her limit. Woohoo! So here's a rattle trap caught my fish on. You can tell it works because it's beat up. <laughs> That's right. There he is. Right there. small. Yeah, it's a little small. You want to be a real one? Yeah, you catch some. Huh? Oh, shaker, yeah. Yeah. Little brother. Uh -huh. Another last cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can do this until dark. <laughs> <laughs> we can do our last cast until dark. All right, keep that pole angle, brother. Don't just point it straight at him. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Little guy, but he's yeah. gonna be a good fight. Yeah, he is. Right now. Oh, he's a bass. I think he was swimming towards dark around, wasn't he? Yeah. I think that one's going to keep me long and skinny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Really? Yep. Nice. Yep. 19 entry. All right guys, so we're back at the marina after a nice long day of fishing, lots of action, and we're gonna go ahead and clean these fish for you guys. Uh, no, those are rough.
All right guys, great day of fishing with Delta Fishing Charters. Thank you so much to Alex and Richie and also to uh, Jason and Rollin for letting me join you for the day. What's the best way to get hold of you guys? Yeah guys, if you'd like to contact us, um, you can go on uh, www.deltafishingcharters.com or you can call 530-210-7763 uh, That'll be to Captain Chuck and he can take care of you guys from there. And then what other kind of fishing do you do besides the sturgeon and striper? We're gonna move the bay about June, uh, move down to the bay about June 1st, uh, where we'll start targeting the halibut and the salmon and the sharks down there for the summer. And then move the boat back here in about August, start catching the sturgeon again. Thanks yeah. guys, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, it. No, thank you. Thank you. That was a great time, thank great you. Day. So I just wanted to give thanks again to Alex and Richie. What a great crew. I actually met Richie and Chuck of Delta Fishing Charters at this year's International Sportsman's Expo in Sacramento at Cal Expo. As soon as I met Chuck, he's like, we gotta get you on the boat. We're gonna do a sturgeon striper trip. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to join us today, but I did speak to him on the phone and he'll be on the boat next time. And I think next time we are going to head out into the bay and target shark. So you won't want to miss that. Along with that, I've got some other trips coming up, bass of course, but I've also got a tuna trip out of San Diego coming up in May. So it's gonna be my first ever tuna trip. Can't wait, so make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out when I post that video. And who knows, maybe the next time I'm out with the crew of Delta Fishing Charters, I'll see you outside.